It's the Ben's Brunani woman is Baby boys, baby girls, you need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down, receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea, we are go sippy here Hard time scrolling for your long truants You might learn something you never know Could let you find, and she's one of a kind Don't say you mind, say you mind Oh, patrons, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, I think that I'll disable Patreon after this. My cards are falling everywhere. Um, I'll disable Patreon um, after the live show, I think. Um, just because I want to give time for whatever I do next. Um, I still want you involved and I will try to find a way of like keeping in touch with you all. But I have to give a special thank you to all of you patrons because it's one thing to say like support black women, support black women, but you people actually supported me with your coins. And that is something that I'll be eternally grateful for. Like you showed how much you believed in me by every month, every month you're out here giving, you know, donating money like you're, and I appreciate it immensely. So I just wanted to spend this time. Oh, I just wanted to spend this time to do a specific reading for you all. Because, I mean, I don't know which of you it will resonate with, but it's a reading not linked to the main podcast. This is completely separate. Just to thank you. Thank you all for the energy that you've invested in me for the finances that you've invested in me. You've made so many things possible in terms of, you know, putting on a live show, paying for my studio session um, to record the podcast and things like that. Like, may you re just remain eternally blessed and the kindness that you've shown me, I hope that the universe gives it back to you a hundredfold because it's, it's, it's the least that you deserve. Like you deserve all of the great things in life. And I know that some of you, we've spoken about you being in difficult situations right now, whether it's home life or, um, you know, emotional or mental space, you're not in a great place. Understand that even being where you are in a place of discomfort, you still manage to see my humanity and support me through it. And I'm forever grateful for that. So let's look at the cards that I pulled for you all. I'll move this a bit away. So the first card that came out was the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is depicted in the Crystal Banner deck as a moving truck with six swords on the side and boxes already in. And it's an apt card to have as the first card because, yeah, it makes me feel teary. Because we're moving on. We're moving on. Whether it's not just about the podcast, but I feel like a lot of us in our personal lives, we're also moving on. We know that it's time to move on to, to doing different things, whether it's for business or whether it's relationships. We know that it's time to move on to something else. And this usually depicts travel. So you could be moving on emotionally from relationships or from things, or you could be physically moving on from things like taking yourself and moving elsewhere to something different. And the reason that you're doing that, we got the Queen of Wands talking about physical manifestations. You're doing that because you're taking that step. You're taking that step to creating. There's something that you've been cultivating that's been growing, that's been growing within you. And it's now time for, for you to pretty much give birth to that thing and have it out in the physical realm. And this is what this process is saying, that you're moving on because there's something that you now need to create and bring forward into the physical realm. So I guess the advice for that, because the major arcana, a major arcana card came out. And this is the temperance card. And I feel that this card came out as a reminder that as much work as we're doing in the physical realm, we should always pay attention to the spiritual realm as well and make sure that we have a strong balance between the two. And I feel like it's advice for me. You know, the, I'm always saying that the cards drag me before anybody else. And it's the fact that I'm moving on to go and do something else, to do something that I feel 
is greater. I don't know what it is yet, but that's what I'm moving on to do. And I can only do that by reminding myself that as much as I'm a physical being in this realm, I'm also on a spiritual journey and I'm a spirit that's come. We are all spirits that have come to have a physical experience in this realm. And we should never forget the spirit self. We should almost always make sure that we're nurturing the spirit self. And at the bottom of the deck, because you know I love looking at the bottom of the deck, we've got the three of wands, which again speaks to travel, which speaks to moving on, which speaks to the fact that there's something bigger over the horizon. You know, we're looking we're, where we are now. We've outgrown where we are now. We've literally outgrown it. It's, it's There's no more space for us. And in my mind, what flashes straight away is that idea of a big fish in a little pond. Some of us, whether it's our work environment or in our romantic relationships or even friendships, we've become a big fish in a little pond. We've outgrown that space. Although that space nurtured us, although that space was great for us, you know, like it's like I was saying about this idea of the queen of wands where now there's something that you need to birth in the physical realm. Maybe it's yourself that you're birthing into the physical realm because although that space that we were in nurtured us and gave us the, the, the environment that we needed to grow, we've outgrown it and we have to do a service to ourselves and to those around us by moving on. Because also when you don't move on and you stay stuck in the same spot because you're scared of what is ahead of you, you're also stopping the new people from finding you and you're stopping the new people from possibly taking the position that you're leaving. Your blessings that you're, that, you know, your blessings that you're done with are also somebody else's blessings. So you need to get the fuck out of the way so they can come and step into their own blessings. And they can't do that if you're here like, oh, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Step out. Step out because everything is ready for you. We've got it in the six of wands, sorry, the six of swords, and we've got it in the three of wands. So the six of wands is even saying to us that mentally we are ready for that move. Mentally, we've probably already moved on. We've already done it in our mind. We're somewhere else. So if it's a job in your mind, you're out. You, you don't even care anymore. You're done with the thing. You're done. You're done. You're ready to move on to that next stage of who you truly want to be. But also in the physical realm with the three of wands, we're seeing here that you're, you're ready to move on as well. So mentally and physically, you're ready to move on. And this is something that when it comes to the temperance card is something that your spirit guides are telling you as well. Like this has been ordained. Like this is a divine intervention. This, this reading almost is a divine intervention to let you know that, hey, hey, if you didn't realize before, I've just come to tell you again that it's time for us to go. It's time for us to move on up. It's time for us to move on out. So whenever this message reaches you, it's the time it was meant to reach you. But just get ready to move on because the time, the time is now. And it is what it is. It is what it is. As sad as it may be, as you know, the same with the podcast, as sad as it may be that it's ending, I had to have those boundaries with myself to understand that I was called to do this for a year and the year is up and it's time to move on to other things. And I hope that I can still bring you messages and bring you wonderful things in other forms. But this will be done. I mean, I don't know if I will, con I, I don't know if I should continue doing maybe weekly readings with the affirmation cards on the Say Your Mind Instagram page. But I think that when I'm still, the message will come to me as to what I should do moving forward. I never thought that I would do a podcast. I lied to myself and I said, oh, I'll do a 30 minute podcast because I'm not going to be recording for an hour because who's got time to record for a fucking hour? I remember when I messaged Brent the first time and I was just like, yeah, I'm only going to be recording for 30 minutes and I'll be done. And then look at now that the episode, the main episode's like an hour. And then this is usually about 10 to 15 minutes. Like you never know what lessons are waiting for you in the places that you're called to be. But if you're truly about this life, if you're truly about this spiritual journey, then you will accept the things that you're called to do and understand that there is a lesson in everything. And you have to remain diligent and consistent to the assignment that you chose when you were still a spiritual being before you chose a physical form and get your assignments done. That's the only reason we're here to complete our assignments. Everything else is for the birds as far as we're concerned. But Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate you greatly. And like I said, I wish you nothing but the best things in life. And I really, really hope that we, our paths cross again in some way or another. Like I said, you can listen to the weekly show on um, Foundation FM for as long as I'm there. I, I keep saying that my spirit doesn't feel like I'll be there for long. 
But join me there in the meantime Let's pray that I get into Black Panther 2 And we'll have a screening and you can all come and watch But thank you so so much And God continue to bless and protect you all Peace It's the Ben Spoonani woman is Baby boys, baby girls You need to hear this Baby sit down, sit down Receive this realness Make sure your cup's ready for the tea We are gonna sip it Hard time scrolling for your long shorts You might learn something you never know Could let you find And she's one of a kind Don't say you're mine Say you're mine